What you missed on the Breakfast Huddle on Money FM 89.3. Good Tuesday morning to you. It's Elliot and Yasmin in with you, uh, with our hot seat guest this morning. Um, in many places that we go to, we can drink water straight out of the tap because these days, you know, especially in Singapore, I, I don't know about you, but my, and don't tell my mom about this. I drink water from the tap. She's like, no, you must boil your water. Hey, come on. Singapore's water is good. <laughs> <laughs> but yet, you can drink water from the tap, you say. Yes. But how much do we spend around the world on bottled water? Wow. 150 billion. That do you believe this? Is in- Incredible, And in the UK, it's become a bit of a nightmare because they want to ban single-use plastics. Mm. That includes, you know, these plastic well, water bottle bottles that you yeah. get your bottled yeah. water from, right? On top of that, there's so many different forms of water right now just to make their life harder. <laughs> <laughs> Alkaline water. Uh, Reverse osmosis. I've seen this when I was queuing up, you know, at a grocery store that day. Tap water. Tap water. What do you drink? I don't know. Just give me plain water. <laughs> Do they all really have any sort of significant difference that make, you know, something change in your life? So let's find out the real deal. Jeffrey Tan, CEO of AOX, is with us. He's um, making a thriving business out of selling water, in particular antioxidant alkaline water. Jeffrey, good morning. Good morning. AOX, you say, stands for antioxidants. So is that how you pronounce wow. it then? AOX? AOX, yes. Cool. So this water is good for your skin, Yes, definitely. <laughs> it does defy yeah. aging. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Look yes, at, of Look course. at Jeffrey. I mean, he's yeah, a actually, picture actually, of health really this really Tuesday really morning. Good. I mean, he puts us to shame in terms of, you know, how, how disheveled we look right now. <laughs> Four years ago, your company received the top honour in the Emerging Award category at the SME One Asia Awards. So, mm. give us a breakdown right now, Jeffrey, of what the industry is like uh, at present with all the options available and help us demystify some of the myths about water. Yeah, sure. As you just mentioned, there are many types of water like RO water, alkaline water, and say normal filter water, and yeah. tap water, of course. Yeah. I believe that people who go for alkaline water are those who are very health conscious. Mm. And they believe in such a thing called alkaline diet. So if you believe that alkaline diet is important, you're drinking alkaline water will definitely help to alkalize your diet. Sure. And because uh, in Singapore, we are drinking maybe too much coffee, taking too much red meat. Mm. So in this case that, you know, when our body gets too exceeded, it is actually naturally not good for us. Yeah. Mm. You just confessed all my sins, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all out there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's all out there. Okay, what are the myths, though, about the different waters that we have? Like, why do people say, no, 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 reverse os- osmosis is better than alkaline yeah. or tap water? Gosh, you know, I'm just going to stick with tap water. Why is that? Personally, I believe that tap water is good. But unfortunately, unfortunately, now we need to add in chlorine into the tap water in order to control the bacteria growth. So as we all know that chlorine itself is actually cancer-causing. So I think it's very important for us to remove the chlorine before mm-hmm. we drink it. Mm-hmm. Now, drinking Singapore tap water, the pH level is only 7.4, thereabout. Mm-hmm. So if we were to drink, say, alkaline water, we need to increase the pH to be above 8 pH. Okay. And uh, that will help to buffer this uh, problem known as uh, acidosis. Acidosis is actually a problem when our blood that needs to be maintaining at 7.4 pH uh, have got off balance because of our too acidic diet. So drinking alkaline water does help to compensate this uh, problem of uh, acidity and we will help to buffer it back to 7.4. Well, I'll never look at water the same way again. <laughs> I'm a little bit depressed. Uh, <laughs> Jeffrey, yes. how unsafe is uh, microscopic bacteria in our water? I mean, what sort of technology do you use to enhance the taste of water, yet at the same time you want to eliminate all the bacteria? It's like uh, you're, stunning, you're making me feel like distilled water is the best. <laughs> What's your opinion? Okay. Distilled water is about 7.0 pH, all right? So there again, we, what we are uh, sharing is that now, if we were to drink bottled distilled water. Mm. Now, we understand that there's no chlorine. Yeah. So if we were to drink the bottled water, you never know that there are bacteria inside. And in fact, research has uh, shown that there are some bacteria. So in our case, what we do here is that we use PUV water, the tap water, yeah. all right, and it goes through our filter. So when it goes through our filter, we remove the chlorine itself, so we remove the sediments, we remove also cancer-causing substance in the water that can be removed by using activated carbon. And in AOX, we also have added in a special component known as KDF-55. So what KDF-55 does is that it eliminates bacteria 
and we have sent for an independent lab test that shows that 99.99% of the bacteria are eliminated after going through an AOX uh, water dispenser. Okay. Uh, Jeffrey, it sounds like one of the challenges, I, and I'm learning a lot from this. It's good to know all this if you want to, how, how should I say, absorb water in a more healthier way, right? Mm-hmm. Would educating people be a challenge? In fact, it's quite a challenge. Okay, so what we do here is that uh, I was also invited to give talks with a 365 Cancer Prevention Society. Sure. And each time we will have about maybe a hundred audience, about hundred people uh, attending the talks. And uh, what we need to educate them is also about how to keep their lifestyle healthy mm. through exercise, through eating proper. And uh, alkaline water does come in to help them in this way. And uh, whoever buys our AOX machine or AOX water dispenser, we will usually spend at least an hour educating them how to keep their lifestyle healthy. So it's not just about the water you drink, ah. but it's about the whole holistic approach, yes. I would say. Yeah. Yes. And tell us about the market for this uh, product of yours. I walk by you know, basements of malls and you're constantly seeing competition right, yes. with water machines. So what's your market share like? Uh, I don't have the actual statistics, but in fact, in, uh, we were we just received an award uh, by an influential brand, mm-hmm. and according to the organizer who gave us the award, we are known to be number one right now in Singapore. Oh, well done! Yes. This is, uh, of course, testament to all the hard work that you've put in. Yeah, Jeffrey Tan, CEO of AOX, is with us here on Money FM eighty nine point three. Our guest in the hot seat. Uh, but Jeffrey, how did you get into this business? And you know, earlier we talked about education, educating potential consumers being one of the challenges. What other challenges have you faced so far? Okay, uh, we get into the business sometimes in two zero zero nine. Yeah. How I came into water was that I think in two o o eight, alkaline water is made known in Singapore through the radio and uh, someone was actually advertising it very aggressively. It caught my attention. Mm -hmm. So I went to do some research on this uh, alkaline water and I find that, uh, wow, it really helps. And uh, at that point, I have to decide whether I am going to select a brand from overseas, a well-known brand and market it in Singapore or we are going to create our own Singapore brand. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I took the courage to start marketing it under AOX brand, which is a Singapore brand. So it took us actually nine years before we, you know, we become number one in Singapore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was already an uphill task, uh, quite a challenge for us. Mm. When it came to starting your business, were you always an entrepreneur? Oh, yes, yes. I indeed. see. So when you're talking about actually funding this particular project, mm-hmm. did you have to dig deep or get your friends on board? Uh, not really, because uh, before I entered into this uh, alkaline water business, I was in the security business. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we do provide things like cameras and uh, stuff like door access alarm systems. Sure. Yeah, I do have a very big pool of uh, corporate customers then mm-hmm. and also household. And they, they believe in us, they trusted us. So it was quite easy for me that when I enter into alkaline water business and when I introduce these products to them, they believe me and they know that I always have them in my heart. And it was quite easy. I just need to show them, prove it to them that it works. And they, they were very supportive, actually. A lot yes. of customer first, I think. What's the size of your company right now? Your <coughs> manpower? Uh, manpower? About 30. 30 of you. Yes. Um, and and w- what type of uh, margins uh, are there in your business right now? Because nine years now, and you mentioned earlier that mm-hmm. you're number one in Singapore. So what kind of yes. uh, profit margins are you looking at? I won't be able to disclose the profit margin, but I would say that it's uh, lucrative enough for us to reward our staff. And okay. then, uh, as we know that, you know, it is very important to retain the staff yeah, in order yeah. to provide a continuous support to our customers. So having them at heart, we take care of our staff. A portion of our money that we actually uh, earn, we allocate it to charity mm-hmm. and as well as uh, we spend on some R&D on innovation. In fact, recently we won an award, Singapore Good Design Award mm-hmm. and the, the overall winner is Changi Airport Terminal 4. Yes, yes. So we were among one of them who went up to receive the award. Oh. So yeah, it was uh, the latest award uh, that we received and the products we design is known as Compact. Yeah. So we want to miniaturize the size of our water dispenser and make it so small and we call it Compact. And okay. it can be hidden underneath the kitchen cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And our houses are getting smaller, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Jeffrey Tan, CEO of AOX, is with us. When it comes to winning all these awards, mm-hmm. can you tell us what they mean to you? And do they actually translate to dollars in your business? Like when you patch it on uh, you know, your product itself, does it actually make a customer believe it more? To answer your question, how does it mean to us is that uh, it's an endorsement. Okay. It affirms us that whatever we are doing, we are on the right track. And it's an encouragement. Winning the awards does enhance the image Mm -hmm. and customers do believe us 
uh, when we have an award, yes. How are you planning or do you have plans to expand your business and, and what are the areas of growth that you, you currently see? I think there are two areas that we would like to expand our business. Yeah. Uh, locally, I believe there are still many segments of the markets that we have not tapped it. Okay. Uh, we will work hard on that. And the other markets will be the international markets, the global markets. Mm. So currently, we have appointed a distributor in Indonesia and in Brunei as well. And uh, we are at the verge of appointing another distributor in America and we are still 